All right, welcome to Noon with Nemo. I'm laughing already. My name is John Nemo. Excited to have you here. I'm laughing already because um, if you're only listening to the audio of this through the Nemo Radio podcast, right now you are missing a just a stunning visual. So for those that are on the live broadcast, look at my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I am having an epic hair day. And I thought, you know, let's just be authentic. Let's be transparent. You know, let's be real on the Zoom calls. Don't worry. I can put a hat on in a second. But I want to welcome all of you that have to look at my hair right now to Noon with Nemo. Like, this is live. In case you're wondering, right, anything is possible, let me know right now in the chat if you can see and hear me okay. Feel free to make comments about my hair. I'm here for all of it. I can take it. Tim, Mary, Kali is here, Laura, Russell. We got Dulce, Phil. We got Nicholas. We got Lay. We got William. Let me know in the chat if you can see and hear me okay. Um, Again, my name is John Nemo. I am so excited that you're here. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Noon with Nemo. Uh, And please make jokes at my expense. I'm here with a bad hair day. I have 100% bedhead for this call. (laughs) Tell the truth. Have you ever done a Zoom call like this, right? Um, Probably not, right? So I'll put on the hat. I'm just having fun with myself. You can't take yourself too seriously. There. Now you'll never know how crazy my hair looked. So again, I want to welcome everybody. Kathy. Okay, the jokes are back. Here we go, Kathy. Who does my hair? Look at the that. You know what? That looks like alfalfa. Kathy, this is impressive. Here's the thing, Kathy. I had two older sisters growing up in the 1980s in the on the mean streets of Roseville, Minnesota. Here's what I learned, Kathy, having older sisters, and you can relate to this. They in the 80s, my sisters would spike their bangs to this height. Like this is not out of the realm of how my sisters and other women in the 80s spiked their bangs. White rain hairspray, just I mean, just industrial, right? So that the bangs were up nice and high. They had the perm, the frizz. My sisters, it was like a ski jump. I mean, the ramp of their hair. I still have spots on my lungs from all the white rain hairspray. Uh, I'm here for all of it. All right. So again, that is some 80s height with the bangs, Stephanie. You are 100% correct, right? Um, Steve Alexander, Steve, a.k.a. Sean Touchdown Alexander says, who doesn't do your hair? Right. I, listen, man, This I people look at me and go, I can't believe this guy has a successful business. This is, here's the thing. I'm trying to inspire each and every one of you right now. Look at me. Look at me. I have a successful business. Why can't you? <laughs> like The barrier is lower than ever to be successful, apparently. At least if fashion and hair have anything to do with it. All right. So, yes, Tim says the nutty professor is in the house. That's correct. Love it. Welcome, everybody. So, again, if you haven't left and been scared off, uh, I want to welcome you to Noon with Nemo. My name is John Nemo. Um, so excited that you're here. Um, want to make sure that we get the poll going. Oh, where did the poll just disappeared? That's weird. Okay, so let me put that up. Um, okay, so start a new poll. I want to know if this is your first time or not. So vote in the poll if this is your first time attending Noon with Nemo. Um, and Chris, oh, Chris is getting in with the cheap shots. If it's not Vikings gear, it's bad hair. White rain hairspray, a blast from the past. How about Drakkar? You got me on the 80s thing now. Drakkar Noir or whatever. Uh, Jerbo Jeans. Varney t-shirts. Need I go on? Has my 80s cred been sufficiently established? I think so. Uh, I do have Vikings. I have Vikings gear. Victor the Viking is perched on my shoulder for the whole webcast. All right. Ken is coming back in for more. Ken likes the pain. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. Good. Good to see you, Ken. All right. We got Tim is in here. Uh, Success. That's a great first name. Welcome. All right. Love it. So again, Vote in the poll if you haven't already. If this is your first time noon with Nemo, I I do want to do one thing. Let me know in the chat where you're logging in from and what type of work you do. I'll go ahead and end the poll because about 60% of you, this is your first time on noon with Nemo. So again, this is a live training I do every week. Very informal, very fun. I call it infotainment. We're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, I'm going to make you laugh, but I'm also going to provide information and value. So let me know in the chat right now uh, where you're from and what type of work you do. Okay. See, Steve doesn't even turn on his audio. He's just here to see the hair, right? Steve remembers your car was awesome. Like that was a chick magnet, man. 
just buy it by the gallon. <laughs> Durbo jeans, right? Uh, roll the jeans. 80s, you had to roll the jeans. Right? Oh, my God. I can bring out the photos if needed. All right, all right, all right. Janelle, welcome. Mobile marketing. Love it. Kathy, go Bengals, right? Joe Cool, unbelievable. Louisville, Kentucky, aspiring writing. William, stop aspiring. You are a writer. You are a writer. Just write. You're a writer. Okay? Speak it into existence. Uh, Edith, Chicago Consulting. Love it. Steve, business development. IT managed service. William, we got another Bengals fan. Look at the Bengals fans just feeling themselves. And listen, for me, as a long-suffering Minnesota Vikings fan, Bengals, it took you 31 years to get back to the Super Bowl. The Vikings haven't been to a Super Bowl. They've never won one. And the, I don't think the Bengals have ever won one either. But the Bengals have only been to two, I believe, 1981 and 88. How does it feel? Like, you're actually, like, you're going to win two, by the way. You're going to, the Rams are not that good. But as a Vikings fan, they haven't been to the Super Bowl since 1977. They've never won one. Uh, we had our Minneapolis miracle. I thought that was it. I, I, I'm convinced now I will die before they win. So uh, Bengals fans, you're giving me hope. I'm all in on your team. Is if you guys can do it after what your franchises look like, <laughs> anything's possible. Anything's possible! It's a Kevin Garnett reference. Okay, so we got Chris in Green Bay. I'm really sorry to hear that. I've probably already just, you know, I think this is the Chris from LinkedIn that we trade trash talk, right? Packers fan, so sorry. Chris, everybody has their flaws. Everybody has burdens to bear, obstacles to overcome. Yours is living in Green Bay, Wisconsin, for sure. All right, we got Stephanie in Dubuque, Iowa, branding, awesome. All right, who else we got in here? Success is from Nigeria and Africa, virtual assistant coach. Ken, fractional CFO in D.C., love it. Tim, direct sales. Where is Oral Valley, Arizona, Tim? I'm curious. Um, Ken is from Detroit. Don't give me long-suffering football. Well, man, you only have to go back to like the 1950s, man. <laughs> Chris is happy for the Bengals fans. You'll never say that for Viking fans. I totally, I get it. I wouldn't either if I was a Packer fan. All right, Ryan, we got Wealth Management Saskatchewan. Is this the world famous RJ? Is this the world famous Ryan slash RJ? Because we were live chatting. Um, and then I think I had you fill out a type form. And then I think from there we kind of ghosted or we haven't talked to each other. So I'm glad you're here, man. If, if I'm thinking of the same Ryan. Uh, Kathy is totally psyched. All right, good. We got Tim Cooper Cup MVP. Whoa, throw out there, Tim. How much money are you putting on that? Phil from Stratford upon Avon, United Kingdom. My wife. Hey, Sarah. Oh, I think she's on the phone. She lived in London for two years. I want to see if she knows where Stratford upon Avon is. Okay, Phil, tell us where that is. Mary Columbus, home of the Buckeyes. Mary, are you fully on board with the Bengals? We need to know. Ken and Cody, Wyoming. Ken Anderson, good to see you, my friend. Tim, north of Tucson. Oh, that's where Oil Valley is. Okay, so you're between Phoenix and Tucson. Gotcha. All right, Catherine in a wine industry. Fun. California, love it. This is not the Ryan from Canada. Are you sure? RJ, no? We'll just pretend we already talked and had a great time, Ryan, Okay. <laughs> It'll work. I'll work it all out. Ken has got Alliance history lessons here. There you go. Well, you won some championships, man. What else do you want? Come on. All right, good. Captain Kirk, Philly special. Good to see you. All right. Welcome, 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 everybody. Again, my name is John Nemo. So excited for all of you that have made it here. We've got a ton of people on, which is awesome. Again, if you haven't introduced yourself yet, this is very interactive. Go into the chat. Tell us where you're from, what type of work you do. I love this stuff, right? So Kelly says hello from MS. Is that Mississippi? Say I should know my state abbreviations, Kelly. Is that Mississippi? And what kind of work do you do in Mississippi? Hopefully I'm right. Um, Phil says in the middle, furthest spot from anywhere to sail on the sea. Oh, man, that's no good. Steve, a.k.a. Sean, touchdown Alexander. Don't cut your hair to the Vikings win a Super Bowl. All right, Steve. Look how long that is. I'm not trying to do a comb over because this is in the middle. Like, I could, like, do the Trump and, like, you know, the other guys and try to listen. Like if you're still on this, look at that. <laughs> no hairspray, no product involved. This is all natural. All right. Sorry. I'm having fun. Would you guys like some training at this point or should I just keep doing the comedy act? Okay. So I've got a great, great session for you today. Um, oh, Kelly does farming and network marketing in Mississippi. Okay, cool, cool. Glad you're here. All right. So got some great stuff today. The core thing I want to focus on today 
in the training is really how to get your ideal prospects engaged on LinkedIn. That's the whole idea of today's session. Each week, and in fact, I'll share with you real quick what this looks like since this is the first time for so many of you. Uh, let me turn on my screen share really quick since we're live. Um, and I will actually show you, wow, that was weird. Hopefully, hopefully my screen share is working. Um, each week, if you go to linkedinriches.com and then under free tips, there's a Noon with Nemo link. And some of you probably already know this page if you registered on your own. But underneath, you can see the schedule for all these live sessions each Friday. So the thing is, you can go back, right? So if you want to go back and go to certain things, like last week, January 28th, we talked about the secret to securing high ticket sales. You can click on past sessions and go watch them. How good is that? Last week, I was just on a Viking rant. Chris probably got me going. So last week, we had a lot of fun with the Vikings. Um, this week, right, we're talking about how to engage your ideal prospects on LinkedIn. So very simple, very clear thing I want to say right off the hop. Um, before I get into all the training, there's one simple way. And let me make sure the screen sharing is working. Um, you could look like Bernie, Tim says. I love it. Okay. Bud, welcome. Business working capital and lending. All right. Good, good, good. I could look like Bernie Sanders. Give everyone health care. There. I'm, I'm with you, Bernie. I want health care. Okay. So anyway, no politics. When it comes to LinkedIn, when it comes to making sales, when it comes to engaging your ideal prospects to get money, to get leads, all the money is in the mailbox. Okay. Repeat after me out loud, wherever you are, success in Nigeria, say it out loud. Everyone repeat after me. The money is in the mailbox. Actually, I can't hear you. So type it in the chat. I want to make sure you're listening. Type in the chat with exclamation points and shouting in all caps, the money's in the mailbox. The money is in the mailbox. All the money to be made on LinkedIn is in one-on-one -on -one messaging. All of it, all of it, all of it, all of it. All the money, all the messaging, all of it's in here, okay, is in the one-on-one -on -one messages. So I'm gonna be spending this training showing you on LinkedIn how to make money. Okay, good. All right, good. Stephanie is shouting in the mailbox, all caps. All right, good. Chris has got money in the mailbox with dollar signs. I like it. Just like Aaron Rodgers, you're all about the money. Woo, Packer shot. Let's keep going. All right, Mary Greenlee's in. Ryan is laughing at Canadian. All right, Tim says, yeah, we got the Bernie Sanders jokes. All right, got it, got it, got it. Put it in there. Success is screaming it from the mountaintops in Nigeria. The money's in the mailbox. Okay, good, good, good. All right, we're all on board. So let's dive in. Okay. Now you understand one-on-one -on -one LinkedIn messages, everything, that's where the action is. How do you do it? What goes into a successful LinkedIn message? How do you get people to reply to your LinkedIn messages? How do you get them to engage? What's the secret? What's the template? What's the formula? So what I want to do is share a little training video. This is from inside one of my online courses, and it's really going to walk you through how to craft a successful one-on-one -on -one LinkedIn message. Okay, so without further ado, I'm going to jump off camera for a minute have a little training going. I'll still be live in the chat. Um, and I want to kind of walk you through the method I have to the madness when it comes to getting leads with one-on-one -on -one LinkedIn messages. So here we go. You, I, this cannot be, it's, this is not happening. My hair is going to stand up. So people are saying no audio and no sound on the video. So, okay, we're going to reload. Calm blue ocean, calm blue ocean, deep breath. Okay. So people are saying no sound, no audio, no audio. You should hear me. I'm killing it on this training. Okay. So let me reload the training because it's a very specific walkthrough of the strategy. So hang with me one second. I want to try and reload the video. I'm going to hop back, back off camera and walk through the ultimate kind of um, LinkedIn message. And you'll hear me, if you, you'll know this video works because I'm gonna start it by screaming about how the money's in the box. So let's 
2.0, take two, right? What do they do at the movies, right? Take two, here comes the training about the money in the mailbox. Let's try it. So now we're diving into the mailbox. Glory, the money is in the mailbox. And so these one-on-one -on -one messages are where you're gonna make your money. But first we have to understand the psychology of the LinkedIn mailbox, why it works, what works, what doesn't work, all those key pieces, okay? So I'm gonna show you all this in real time and explain how it works. First off, the psychology of this. I know that if you've been on LinkedIn for any amount of time, you probably feel this way. You're very wary and you feel like everyone's just pitching you their stuff, right? They connect with you and they immediately are trying to sell you. And even if you're not coming on strong with an offer right away, people are still trying to marry you on the first date, right? They're asking for your time or they're just assuming you wanna read their blog post or they're you know, asking for this, asking for that. And remember, you can't do that. You've gotta warm people up. In real life, you wouldn't walk into uh, a coffee meeting and meeting a prospect face-to-face -face for the first time and start with a sales offer. Or you wouldn't ask them to give you something or sit for a demo, right? You would, you would try to warm them up. You also wouldn't interrupt people, right? So these are all the core things in real life that we don't like, but yet people do it on LinkedIn and wonder why it doesn't work, okay? So we have a way around all this. I have one simple template that will help you get through all these aspects and elements and objections, and it works wonders, okay? So I have all this written so you can read it and review it, but let me go down and just walk through what I call my ideal one-on-one -on -one message script. It's very simple, fill in the blank. It's got some key aspects to it. So. Part one is you're gonna ask a question. You say, curious, are you interested in this topic, right? Or so it would be, are you interested in generating leads with LinkedIn, right? Or whatever it might be. If so, I have a great free resource or piece of content. If you'd like to check it out, just reply yes or thumbs up. I can send it over. If you're not interested, no worries at all. Now notice how short and sweet and brief this message is. It's also very conversational. It's very friendly. There's no pressure attached. And that's it. And I'll highlight these four parts down below. You can see the key elements. Part one is you ask a question. Are they even interested in this? Are they even curious about your topic? If they're not, don't waste their time and don't waste your time. If I'm looking for business coaches that wanna generate leads on LinkedIn, and I say, hey, curious business coach, are you interested in generating leads with LinkedIn? If they reply no, they're doing me a favor, they're saving me time. I don't have to waste time trying to talk to them. Okay, second off, you're offering value, right? You're bringing value first. Notice I'm not saying, if so, can we please have a free uh, 15 minute phone call to discuss your needs? Nope, I'm not asking for time, I'm not asking for any effort. All I'm saying is if you're interested in that, I have a great free resource, I have a great free piece of content. Even there, I'm not assuming you wanna see it yet. So I say, I ask permission, if you'd like to check it out, I wanna let them be in control. Just reply yes or thumbs up. See how simple that call to action is? Just give them something simple to do. Just reply yes or thumbs up. Remember, a lot of people use LinkedIn on their mobile device, so make it very simple. Type three letters or thumbs up emoji and I can send it over. And then I take off all the pressure. And if you're not interested, no worries at all. And the reason is, of course, especially this last line, they might not be interested in generating leads with LinkedIn. Maybe they're not interested in this topic, but I've left the door open. They're not offended for me to come back a month from now on a different topic. Maybe they're interested in um, how to scale their coaching business with virtual assistants or some other topic I could sell them a product or service around. So again, I've got a deep breakdown here of all the aspects of the message. Now let me show you what it looks like in real life. So this is how I format it. Um, basically, when I set it up, I have the outbound message, right? So this is the outbound message that I'm either sending manually as a one-on-one -on -one message or through an automation tool like Zopto. So I'm literally sending this one-on-one -on -one message. The end goal here is to get people to opt in and watch this case study. Okay, that's the goal of this message. So I reach out to a connection on LinkedIn. Hey, insert the name. Curious, basically, would you be interested in a new case study I put together on how coaches and consultants are getting five and six figure clients from LinkedIn? Okay, are, would you be interested? Are you interested in this topic? It's a case study about getting five and six figure clients from LinkedIn. If you'd like to check it out, just reply yes and I can send it over. If you're not interested, no worries at all. Super, super short, right? 
And then I have instructions of what to do if they say yes, right? Opt them into this page and send this reply. So as that message goes out in LinkedIn, you can see people, where did Dean go? Because Dean just said yes, I was gonna use him. Okay, here's great, here's great. Uh, Paola says no thank you, right? Fantastic, I don't have to worry about it, right? So let me reload, my mailbox is not working here, so let me reload it, because I wanna show you the real-time results. Okay, here we go. So I sent her the script. Are you interested in this? Uh, if you'd like to check it out, reply yes or not. If you're not interested, no worries at all. She says no thank you. That's great, and I'll just say okay, Thanks for letting me know. Now that means I can come back to her on a different topic. She's not mad. She didn't say, don't ever message me again. How dare you, sir, right? She just said, no, I'm not interested in that topic. Doesn't mean I can't send her something else next month. Maybe next month I say, hey, would you be interested in how to use webinars to grow your coaching business? In that case, maybe she says, yes. Happens all the time. Play the long game. Just because they're not interested in this one topic, keep the door open to offer them something else in the future, okay? So then you go through, these are all automated messages that are going out. So let me, I'll sort by unread, that'll be easier. Okay, so this person, here we go, Joy says, yes, I sent Joy this message. Hey, Joy, would you be interested? Just reply, simple uh, call to action, right? So now here's how you can personalize this. I have a little script I'm gonna send her back. And again, to walk you through the process, I'm gonna open Joy's profile in a new tab. I'm gonna grab her email and opt her in. Remember, I showed you this before, but in case you forgot, the best thing to do under con is go to their profile and under contact info, 99% of people have their email listed. So copy their email. Remember, Joy already told me, yes, I wanna see this. So I said, just reply yes, I will send it over. So she's saying yes, send it over. So what I'm gonna do is again, open her profile, grab her email from contact info and quote, send it over. But I'm not just gonna randomly copy and paste it. I'm gonna put her into an automated sales funnel like I showed you earlier so that she automatically now gets this case study delivered via email plus follow-up additional content. Now I can track when she opens emails. I can track if she watches the video. I can track if she fills out a survey. All of it's automated from here. That's why it's so important. Again, when people say yes, like Joy did, whoop, let me get my, when she says yes, get her out of here. Get her off of LinkedIn and get her into your funnel. Get her into your automated funnel. All that said, I just opted Joy in. So now, right, I've got these instructions in here for my VA so she knows if she's in there monitoring. If they say yes, opt them into this page using the email you find on LinkedIn. Then send this reply, okay? And now I'm gonna personalize this a little bit. So remember, I had to open Joy's profile anyway. I can look at it and see very quickly. She lives in San Francisco, here's what she does. I can go through and look for, um, oh, I like that quote, see? So I could say, love the quote, right? Um, go down, I can look for other icebreakers. Da, 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 like where she went to college, San Francisco State, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so I'm gonna have some fun with this. I'm gonna insert my personality. So first, before I send the message, the template, I'm gonna use an animated GIF, which you can use on LinkedIn messages, right? And I'm gonna type in the word awesome and pull up a GIF and here's Will Ferrell going, awesome, yes! This is my personality, I'm a goofball. You don't have to do this if you're not a goofball, but again, it's gonna help you stand out, it's personalized, right? How many people are doing this in LinkedIn messages? Um, and then I will send her the, cop the copy and paste. Perfect, I went ahead and sent it to the email I found. So again, they know, oh, I'm supposed to go check my email. Perfect, I went ahead and sent the case study to the email I have found associated with your LinkedIn account. So now they know, how did you find my email? Oh, okay, that's how. And then I say, if you don't see it, or if you want me to send it to a different email, just let me know. So that way she can say, oh, actually, that's my Gmail. I would rather have you send it to my work email. Here it is, right? So either way, you'll get her into your system. Otherwise, should be all set. Can't wait to hear your thoughts. So I'm gonna send that next. So I've got the animated GIF, right? Will Ferrell. Um, and then finally, I can add a little personalization. And then I'll just put in this quote. Also, I can't agree with this quote from your profile anymore so true right and then i'll paste that in so that's personalizing it because again that's from her profile right so again i've personalized it all 
And now you can come through. Here's Damon. He says, no, thanks. Great. Qualified yourself. And again, they have the suggested replies. Okay, thank you. And then here's Doug. Send it over, please. You know, and then again, look at this. This is this, the money's in the mailbox. You know, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. But look how many yeses I'm getting, right? Yes, 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 yes. So again, this is the idea. This is why this script works like gangbusters. Nobody gets mad. Nobody gets mad because again, you're asking permission. I'm asking permission. I'm assuming you might be interested in this topic, but I want to make sure if you are interested, here's a simple call to action. If you're not interested, no pressure, right? Then once people say yes, I can grab their info, opt them in. Now I know this question comes up too. What if you go over to their profile page and let's say under contact info, Joy didn't have her email listed. Like, so you went to contact info, let's say the email was blank. Then I have a secondary script I use, and I'll actually include this for you, where again, if you can't find their uh, LinkedIn account, then just do this instead. Just write this back and link to the case study. Can't wait to hear your thoughts on it. And again, I mentioned this before, but the reason I like to opt people in uh, is again, because you don't know when they're gonna log back into LinkedIn. You don't know if they're gonna take the time to follow through, click your link, enter their email. What if they're on their mobile phone? Is it too hard to type, right? So I would always rather go ahead and opt them in get them into my system, get them off of LinkedIn. But worst case, if you have to, you can just use that little um, you know, page, uh, link to the page type thing. So I'll just look at Doug. We'll go ahead, we'll see, does he have his contact info? Of course he does, everyone has their email, right? So then I can just opt him in, off we go. And I won't do it right now while you're watching, but I will mark it unread. So my VA comes back and fixes it. But this is how you scale. This is the magic of a good, normal, human LinkedIn message. Imagine that, right? Glory. Okay. So use this template, use this template over and over and over and over and over again, and just change the topic, fill in the blanks. Curious. Are you interested in this topic? Something they would be interested in. If so, I have a great blank case study on demand webinar ebook. If you'd like to check it out, just reply yes or thumbs up. If you're not interested, no worries. Send these over and over and over again and just change the topic, right? And change the piece of content. I'm telling you, this is, think about all of this, right? Because now that I've opted that person in, opted in Joy, she's now in my database. Here she is, right? And I've showed you this before, but now she's in Entreport, which is my CRM. So I've got a contact record for her. I've tagged her, I've registered her for the case study. She's going through the case study campaign. If she does more things like fills out a type form, uh, submits an application, buys a course, whatever, these tags will update. I can follow her progress, right? And I can look through her history and see, you know, okay, she got this. Did she visit this? This was sent. Did she open it yet? No. Okay. Like I'll come back. Right. So again, this is the beauty of it. When you opt people in, instead of just leaving them over on LinkedIn, that's the power of this is you want to get them again out of LinkedIn and into your CRM. And the easiest way to do that is with a message like this, where again, nobody gets mad, nobody gets offended, nobody writes back and goes, how dare you try to offer me something of value for free? How dare you were polite? How dare you were conversational? How dare you, you know, took the pressure off and said, if you're not interested, like, I'll, I mean, I can show you my inbox. Nobody's mad. It's just no thanks or sure, or no thanks or, oh, we've already had this, I got this, whatever. You know, we've already got training on this. Thumbs up, sure, send it on, yes, yes. I mean, look at this, right? So tons of it. Nothing rude, nobody's going psycho. And again, you're just quickly getting through and knowing who's a yes, who's a no. These are all new messages, by the way. Like, I, I got a lot to do, right? I got a lot of opt-ins to process, but this is the exciting stuff because again, now they're moving through your funnel, your system, they're getting your content, they're talking to you. This is it, baby. This is the magic of one-on-one -on -one messaging. This little template is gonna make you a whole lot of money. So get after it, create it, and when you're ready, we'll see you on the next video. All right, I'm back with the hair. Whoa, I need more white rain. For those of you that missed the beginning, <laughs> I'm having so much fun. All right, so uh, somebody asked, Tim asked, what's the name of the CRM Entreport? Uh, doesn't matter what the CRM is, the tools, it's like, use whatever you want. The idea is to get them off of LinkedIn into the CRM, follow up emails, tagging, all that good stuff. So I have a question for you, for everyone watching live right now. Um, do you want a bonus script, a brand new one that I have not been sharing anywhere outside of my done for you clients? If you don't know, I have a done for you LinkedIn lead generation agency. 
If you want a bonus script that I'll walk through right now and why it's working so well, type bonus in the comments. I want to see who's paying attention, <laughs> who's listening. Uh, type bonus in the comments if you want another super powerful, super effective one-on-one -on -one message script. All right, so I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. The tent. I could cut the tension with a butter knife right now in here. All right, William is saying yes. Tim's saying, of course. All right, here we go. William, Richard, Phil, and Stratford-upon-Avon. All right, Edith, Steve, Bruce, Stephanie, Mary. We got multiple Marys. We got Johns in here. We got Chris, the Packer fan. No Packer fans are allowed to see this script. Lori, Royce in Mesa, Arizona, where it's probably 80 degrees. Jack, Ken, Jim, Bud. Ken has probably already seen this. Yes, you have, Ken, because Ken is a done-for-you client. So, Ken, don't spoil it. Jill in Boston, good to see you. The paint bar. Jill wants in. Catherine wants a little bonus. Touchdown Alexander wants a bonus. All right. All right. The people have spoken. All right. Let me give you a little bonus script here. So here's one that I've done recently that's just working like crazy. Uh, John is a Packer fan. John. John, you had such a bright future on this train. Come on, John. Right here. Right here, Johnny. Come on, John. Give Victor a kiss. Give Victor a kiss. Victor, tell John. John, the Packers are trash. Come on, Johnny. Come on, Johnny. All right, it's not too late. It's not too late, John. Obviously, your parents were bad people and raised you wrong. Steve says he hates the Packers. Now you're talking. Tell me whatever I want. All right, lips are sealed. 52 degrees in Tucson. Poor Tim. It's like negative 11 here in Minneapolis. I'm not having it, Tim. I'm not having it. All right, here's the deal. I'm going to share the script with you guys now. Um, this is one that we only are using or sharing, I should say, with our done-for-you clients. Um, this is one I got from a guy named Josh Braun, a great sales trainer. It's called Poke the Bear. And I'm going to walk through it for you. So this is the actual script. Part one is it's an open loop. Let me just make sure everyone sees my screen, okay? All right, yeah, we are stealing a coach from the Rams, Royce, and I'm happy about it. Okay, although I wanted Harbaugh. Don't distract me, Royce. Okay, <laughs> open loop. So you start with curiosity. Hey, X is the person's name. Hey, John, I have a bit of an unusual question for you. Huh? Unusual curiosity, right? Then you talk about the cost of inaction. You say, we're seeing that a lot of people like you are experiencing this problem without even realizing it, correct? So, hey, unusual question for you. I see a lot of people just like you are having this problem. Then you poke the bear. Was wondering what you're doing to address this challenge. And then you detach from the outcome. You take off the pressure. And then you also offer kind of hinting at value. Happy to share what we found is working well for other people like you, but first wanted to see if this is even something you're open to exploring. And again, this is familiar. If so, just reply yes or thumbs up and I can send the next step. No worries if not. So let me show you an example of what that script looks like. So for example, I've had a lot of success, our done for you agency with CPAs and bookkeepers and accountants, getting them new clients, right? Just one niche, business coaches, consultants, everything. But I wanted to do a niche LinkedIn campaign to CPAs, trying to get them um, interested in our done for you lead generation. So I, I said, hey, insert name of CPA, I have an unusual question for you. We're seeing a lot, and this is true, right? We're seeing a lot of CPAs, accountants, and bookkeepers struggling to find new leads outside of referrals. Well, this is a pain point. This is a problem. I know that they have specifically in that industry. This also works for coaches and consultants. A lot of people like, man, I'm living off referrals. So I say, you know, and this is another kind of traditional service business problem. They get so busy servicing their existing clients. One day they lift up the head and realize the referrals have dried up. Oh no, right? And then I poke the bear, wondering what you're doing to address this challenge in the industry. Okay, what are you doing about it? And then I say, I'm happy to share what we have found is working well for other CPAs, accountants, and bookkeepers when it comes to getting new leads and adding clients. But first, wanted to see if it's even something you're open to exploring, right? If so, just reply yes. I can send over a quick video that walks through the process of what we're seeing works, or if not, no worries, right? So again, it's very simple, it's very powerful, and it pokes that bear, right? It, it's a very effective script because, again, you're inducing curiosity. It's unusual. You're kind of hitting pain point. People will always act much quicker to relieve pain than they will to realize a potential benefit. We're seeing a lot of people with this pain, you know, assuming you have the same pain because you're in that same category of people, what are you doing about it? Like, are you aware of it? How are you handling it? And then detach from the outcome, but also offer value. Like, hey, I'm happy to share what I found works good, a good solution, 
but I, I just want to see if you're even interested, if it's even an issue, like, or a challenge. If so, simple call to action, and no worries if not. Like, that script is working like gangbusters. So that's another one you can really leverage, okay? I want to do one more quick piece of training here, since I know we're kind of halfway through the time. Um, but first, tell me, are you finding this helpful? Type in the comments, yes, if you're finding this training helpful. I want to keep you engaged. I want to make sure this is resonating, because again... Um, this is where it's at. Like the money is in the mailbox. It's one-on-one -on -one LinkedIn messaging. You can see from the training video, like how much engagement you can get. So now I want to do something else. Okay. People are typing. Yes. Good. Edith is saying, yes, it's helpful. All right. Well, at least Edith likes it. Nobody else apparently. Oh, okay. Here we go. Ray is yes, yes, yes. Good. To, Ray, where are you from? And what type of work do you do? Answer the question right now. I don't remember you, Ray. All right. Edith, Nicholas E, where are you from? And what type of work do you do? I want answers. Steve-O says, yes. Kent says, beauty, yes. Jim, Lori, Tim, Phil, and Stratford upon Ivan, right? Money's in the mailbox. Love it. Stephanie's giving me all kinds of claps and emojis. All right, good, good, good. So I have one more thing. Chris says, must be the money. All right. So I want to show you one more quick training because once you get people engaged on LinkedIn, the real secret sauce is that one-on-one -on -one personalization. And I kind of hinted at it. Uh, earlier, I kind of alluded to it. You can do the animated GIFs and put a little personality in, look at their profile. But the real magic comes from this bad boy. It comes from using the LinkedIn mobile app. So I don't know if you're aware of this, but when you use the LinkedIn mobile app, you're able to hyper-personalize your one-on-one -on -one messages from the LinkedIn mobile app. You can send personalized videos to people. You can send personalized audio notes, all kinds of stuff. So I want to give you a little walkthrough video that I recorded on my iPhone to show you how to use the LinkedIn mobile app. Again, once people are engaging, once leads are engaging, now hyper-personalize it. And it's so important to do because think about it, next to being face-to-face -face in the room, what's the fastest way to build trust is video, right? See you, hear you, look at you, or audio, listen to you, hear your voice, not just written word. All right, Jim Austin, welcome. Speech coach and speech writer, love it, love it. Ray and SoCal, living the dream, man. Well, how much are your taxes, Ray? That's I'm going to get back. All the people I talk to from California are like, you wouldn't want to live here. The taxes. I'm like, but the weather. Oh, my gosh. Love it. What kind of work do you do, Ray? Okay, without further ado, while Ray is telling me, I want to share one more quick training. Again, this is an iPhone app video. Um, this is me on my iPhone using the LinkedIn mobile app to hyper-personalize one-on-one -on -one connections. And I really want you to see this and start utilizing it because it's super powerful. So let me pull that video up. And let's dive into that. I'll hop off camera again. Okay, so I'm gonna show you some cool features here in the LinkedIn mobile app that really help you personalize the messaging experience. There's so many cool things you can do here. And you don't have to do this for every single person you talk to and connect with. But again, when you have a lead and you wanna break the ice and you wanna take the engagement to a more one-on-one -on -one coffee shop style level, watch what you can do. So here in the top right corner of the mobile app, on my screen, you see the little message bubble with the three dots. I'm gonna tap that. That opens up my inbox. And so, you know, kind of the default normally for LinkedIn messages is just text, right? So I'll take this exchange I'm having with Hugo. And when I type in, write a message, you can see I can type in text, right? Notice though, to the right of that is a little microphone. So if I hold down that microphone, I can actually send a voice memo to Hugo. Now, Hugo's a lead I've been talking with about done for you LinkedIn services. We've been going back and forth, sharing info, sharing insights. So what I'm going to do is actually use Hugo as a guinea pig for you uh, and show you how I can amp up the personalization of my messaging with him instead of just text. All right. So uh, he's saying, OK, set up time to talk. So what I'm going to do on the bottom right corner where it says write a message, there's a little microphone there. So I'm going to hold that and actually send a voice memo on the spot to Hugo. Because if you think about how marketing works, hearing us, seeing us, you know, anything we can do to replicate the real life human face-to-face one-on-one interaction, the more powerful the messaging will be instead of just text. So watch this, I'll hold the microphone and I'll send Hugo a little voice memo. 
Hugo, it's John Nemo. Did you know you could do this? You can send these little voice memos on LinkedIn. How cool is this? I'm going to send you a video too. Uh, I think this will be key for you, this type of feature with LinkedIn messages, because with what you're doing with coaching and 101, um, this is the kind of stuff I want to teach you and show you is how to really hyper-personalize your you know, prospecting on LinkedIn, not just text, but also voice memos like this. So you can do this in the LinkedIn mobile app. Check it out, man. Send me back a voice memo. Let's see if it works on your end too. Now, again, I can send the voice message. And there it goes. And you can see now it just shows up in the inbox for him. And if I hit the play button on there, it'll play back the audio for me. Now he's got a little voice memo. Now what's even cooler is if you see where the blinking cursor is and where it says write a message, if I click the little plus, now it opens up more options. This is again is in the mobile app. So I can do attachments, I can include photos. I can use my camera roll and upload a video from it. Or the button that says video right there, I can do a quick selfie video on the spot. So this is again, uh, below that too is animated GIFs. So if I wanna have some fun personalizing it and you know, write back the word awesome and, and kind of you know, um, you know, do something fun like that. Or I know he's in Canada, so I could do Canada, right? And do an animated GIF about Canada. So again, this is how you can hyper-personalize these messages. LinkedIn knows that the money's in the mailbox and one-on-one -on -one messaging. So if you push that little plus button on the bottom left there next to write a message, that's where, again, you can add all these elements. So you've got the attachment, you can do photos from your camera roll. So if you've got pre-done videos, you can upload those, right? Don't wanna send all my family photos here. But um, that's where if you've got a pre-done video, you would just click the photos app and it pulls up the camera roll on your phone. If you've saved a video to your phone, a pre-done video. Camera is if you actually wanna take a live photo. So if I wanna send him a picture, uh, a story about my son Bailey, right? The entrepreneur or when we won our flag football championship. <laughs> <laughs> my fantasy football trophies, right? So that's the photo area, right? So you just click the plus button, uh, that's camera. So if you click camera, you can open your live camera and send a photo. The animated GIF is again, to insert some personality, some fun based on the messaging. Again, use your personality. Like you don't have to fake personality if you're not a GIF person or gregarious, whatever. The idea is to personalize the one-on-one -on -one interaction, to take it from text up to voice, up to photos, up to videos, or if I tap this video button, I can do a live video, right? So if I turn the camera around, hello. So I can actually do a live video now. So I can shoot the video right here, like selfie style, and then send it direct to the one-on-one -on -one prospect. So again, let me close this real quick. So Hugo, I just sent him a voice text. This is a lead, right? So. Now I'm gonna send him a quick selfie video. And again, he's my guinea pig for this training. So I'm gonna basically be explaining it to him since he's a coach of, hey, you could use this one-on-one -on -one through prospects. Did you know about this? So I'll shoot that video real quick while you watch. Click the plus button, click video, and then I'll turn my camera around. Come on, Nemo. All right, there we go. <laughs> This this tech stuff is, is crazy. So I'll get a little background, I'll get the book in the background, and then I'll just hit the record button here at the bottom and then send Hugo a quick video. So here we go. Hugo, isn't this cool? Like you can see and hear me now right through LinkedIn one-on-one -on -one messages. Canada, eh? Oh, Canada. <laughs> I'm a goofball man. But I love this idea for you, Hugo, too. I just wanna make you aware of this if you haven't been doing this with your one-on-one -on -one LinkedIn messages. Once you get a prospect engaged with you on LinkedIn that's interested in your coaching, make them one of these little selfie videos with the LinkedIn mobile app so they can see you and hear you and look you in the eye. Um, it's a great way for you also to kind of personalize your interaction. So if a prospect from Ontario says, yeah, tell me more about your coaching, you, Hugo, could then be like, hey, this is Hugo, just wanted to say hi, I'm here in my office, blah, blah, blah. You know, love what you're doing with your profile, Joe, let's talk more. So just wanted to share this with you, Hugo, as a quick idea. This is cool, right? We can really hyper-personalize this stuff. All right, buddy, hope this helps. And then it will show you the video, you can preview it, and then if you like it, you just send it. So I'm just gonna hit the little blue icon and send that bad boy. So now you can see it's also saved the video to my camera roll. Um, but here in the one-on-one -on -one message with Hugo, you can see how I've taken it from text to a voice memo to a video. And then I can add a little GIF here and do Canada. 
All right, let's go Canadians. All right. We can even do gifts in here. And then I'll do a little emoji action, right? And again, the idea here isn't to be a goofball and just hammer people with crazy content like I'm doing to Hugo, but I wanted to show you the power of this, the power of personalizing these one-on-one -on -one messages. Now, you don't have to do this for every single prospect you talk with on LinkedIn. The idea is automate and personalize, right? So once you get people going, once you get people responding, once you get people wanting to talk with you on LinkedIn and get into the message box, take that time. If you feel like, hey, uh, this person seems like a really good lead, this person, Hugo, seems like they're interested in my stuff, take the time to do a quick one-on-one -on -one selfie video. Use their name, right? There's nothing more powerful than you as a prospect having me uh, talk to you one-on-one, -on -one, use your name, look you in the eye. You can experience me through video, which again, we know this next to being in the room with someone, the next best thing is video or audio. Uh, and again, use your personality, animated gifts, all that. So again, all of this is in the LinkedIn mobile app just at the bottom here. You can see the microphone, you hit the plus button, you can do all these other features. Super, super valuable way to hyper-personalize your engagement with the LinkedIn mobile app. Yeah, so again, here I was just, I forgot to tell this story prior to playing the video, but doing the LinkedIn mobile app, like I've literally closed, done for you lead generation, five-figure deals through the mobile app doing selfie videos. <laughs> like, because again, you know, understanding the power if, you know, of the money being in the mailbox is that people want to be professionally courted, right? And we're doing online and we're remote. So like they need to see you and hear you. And like, it's such an easy little thing, right? So, okay. At this point, I have a very simple question for you. Do you want more engagement and leads from LinkedIn? Yes or no? If you want engagement, if you want to get your ideal prospects engaging you on LinkedIn, Type yes in the chat because I have something for you. I have something for you. And no, it's not more hair stuff. But man, that's impressive height. That's impressive. Type yes in the chat if you want more of this. Because again, I've got something that's going to make this so simple. All right, Lori is in. Yes, glory. All right, good, good, good. Type yes in the chat if you want this. Stephanie, Jack, Phil, and Stratford upon Ivan. All right, Steve, Bruce. We got Jim, Edith, Chris. I got yeses. I got yeses on top of my yeses. Catherine, Royce in all caps. All right, Nicholas E. Not to be confused with any other Nicholas without a last name initial. Good, good, good. All right. Here's the great news. Everything you've seen today, that's the tip of the iceberg with this. Like, I've got an entire, entire course uh, that will make all of this easy. Templates, fill in the blank, and training videos. So I'm going to give that to you. I'm going to give that to you right now at a special opportunity, special price. Even success in Nigeria wants us. Okay. All right. The people have spoken. All right. Get messaging magic here. So I'm going to put in a link right now and I'm going to pop open a window for everybody to get my LinkedIn messaging magic course. This is something you cannot normally get access to. Normally the scripts in this course are only available if you're a done for you client or if you're a full member of my LinkedIn Riches community. So this is something special, okay? Um, let me put in a link here and then I'll also put up an offer. This is again, the secret sauce. It's the messaging templates that I was sharing with you today. It's the psychology of how to get people to engage on LinkedIn. And again, it's only available right now. It's not something normally that you can get, again, unless you're a done for you client or if you're in the full LinkedIn Riches course, okay? So I want you to get access to this right away. Uh, well, let me make sure it's popping up. Let me get it. All right, so let's get that popped up. All right, so let's get that popped up. All right, that should be the right link. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, all right, so here's what I wanna do. I wanna make sure that you get time to access this and that I go through what's in it. Um, again, so let me put on the screen share and walk you through. So again, this is the page you should have had pop open for you, LinkedIn Messaging Magic. This is the course. This is everything I've covered today, plus a ton more. 
um, inside on demand, right? So like all my online courses, 30 day risk free, but we're really going to cover uh, the, the simple way to get engagement on LinkedIn, to get people saying yes, that whole funnel I showed you, all the personalization, how to really blow up your business. Like again, if you can get people talking to you, your ideal prospects, and this is why LinkedIn is so powerful. If you can get your ideal people engaging with you, imagine, right? So again, this is what the course looks like. If you've gotten courses from me before, LinkedIn Message You Magic, it's on Thinkific. You're gonna go through, you're gonna get all the training, right? So video trainings, um, walkthroughs, like how to go through the inbox, how to do the mobile app, uh, personalizing it, right? Examples, lead flow charts, um, inbound leads, how to handle those. I'm gonna give you all the scripts, right? So I'm gonna literally give you the training, the script, click here, do this, click here, do that, fill this in, fill that out, right? And I'm gonna give you these templates as well. So you can grab these, right? And fill the, the blanks in. There's so much in here, right? And again, all of it designed so that you can automate it and personalize it at the same time. That's really the secret sauce with all of this is understanding your ability is getting people to engage, right? And like I've said the whole time on this training, where is the money? Let's just see if anyone's paying attention. So let me, I'm gonna stop the screen share for a second. Tell me in the chat where the money is on LinkedIn. I wanna see if anyone was listening earlier. So tell me in the chat, where the money is. I'm going to wait. I want to see if anyone knows where the money is. Tell me where the money is. Phil had to go back to Stratford upon Avon. Thank you, Phil. Somebody tell me where the money is in the chat. Type in the chat. Answer that question. Where the money is. Oh, gosh. I hope people are listening. I know there's a little bit of like, yes. Steve says, in the mailbox. Correct. Edith says, the mailbox. Lee Wanks is in the mailbox. Jill says, in the messaging. John says, in the messaging. Richard, Nicholas, glory. Glory. All right, Chris, Bruce, Jim. Okay, okay. So what's interesting about this is, and Ray is all in in all caps. I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, so I want to get you signed up, right? I want to get you access to this immediately. So use that link, sign up for the course, because what you're going to find out is everything you need, right? Like literally the minute you hang up from this webinar, you'll get access to that course and you can start using those templates right away like you can literally this is how easy this is you can make a list of cpas and use that poke the bear scripts to offer your services to cpas like i'm talking instant gratification this is america damn it i want it now fast food i don't want to wait right this is it this is the course that offers you know instant gratification instant success instant access and best of all these are battle tested kind of proven scripts so you're not fumbling around, right? So here's what I want to do. Here's what I want to do. Let me know in the chat if you're signing up because I want to make sure that I'm trying to think if I want to give bonus scripts. Do you want bonus scripts? If you want bonus scripts, you got to sign up. I'm going to give you more scripts. So tell me in the chat if you're signing up right now live on this training and I'm going to give you some bonus scripts that I use, okay? Um, Racist, you have to have paid LinkedIn. Uh, and feel free to ask questions in the chat, but tell me in the chat if you're signing up because I want to give you some bonus scripts and bonus stuff um, that I'm not going to give you otherwise. <laughs> um, but again, I want to really, I, I wanted this to be understood that, um, to answer your question, Ray, no, you don't have to have paid LinkedIn to do this. Um, understand the whole thing behind this is this is the fastest, simplest, and easiest way. And so Jill has a good question. Is this separate from LinkedIn Riches? No. So if you have LinkedIn Riches, if you've already signed up for the big kahuna, the big program, LinkedIn Riches, you're good. Like I've updated it. You'll find this messaging in there. The idea with this group, um, and look, Tim, you already have LinkedIn Riches. So yeah, you're good to go. Yep. The, the messaging magic is included in that. But again, this is, I, I carved it out because there's so many people that do not have LinkedIn riches um, that are struggling. And like, how can I get in? How can I just get some quick wins? How can I get people talking to me? This is it, right? The money in the mailbox, immediately get people going. So if you haven't signed up for LinkedIn riches yet, just sign up for this. Sign up for this. You're going to get the immediate quick wins. Okay, look at everybody on here has LinkedIn. Does anybody here not have LinkedIn riches? Look at Steve has got it. Bruce has got it. <laughs> Do I have anybody on here that's not? So it is $197. Somebody's asking that. Sorry, to clarify, it is $197 to sign up. Yes, I'm not giving the course away. That was my fault. 
um, earlier when I said, I'm giving it to you. Like, I want to give you the opportunity. So, <laughs> not a very good salesman if I'm just giving away my products. Um, this, in Tim says, glory, yes, glory. Tell me if you're signing up, I'm going to give you some bonus scripts, okay? Um, again, it's only 197 bucks. And it's like, if you think about what even one of these conversations could do for your business, I'm assuming most of you watching, if you haven't gone through LinkedIn Riches, don't have the course, um, you know, and spent, if you could, if I could say to you, hey, you can invest $197 uh, and instantly today have 10, 15 conversations with people engaging you, wanting to talk to you, replying to you, would you want to do that? Of course, right? So again, this is, I'm trying to make this like no brainer territory. Um, well, this is nice. I'm getting unsolicited testimonials. Scott says, John LinkedIn Riches is so valuable. Appreciate your strategy with the carve out. Good plan. All right. And then he's got, tell me, have you hit the new search features in any of your noon with Nemo? It's not nearly as good as it was the searching on LinkedIn. Yeah, that's a good one, Scott. That's probably one we need to dive into is um, LinkedIn has changed a lot with prospecting and searches. Try to remember, I feel like I've updated LinkedIn Riches recently on the searches, but if not, um, you know, I'll, I'll get that updated. That's a good one. So I'll say sure thing. Are you, oh, okay. So that person popped over. All right, so let me know if you're signing up because I see lots of people here. Tell me in the chat if you're signing up because um, I want to give you some bonus scripts, okay? And LinkedIn Riches folks, I'll get those to you too. Um, but again, I want to celebrate with people in the chat today. I have to scream. Somebody has to sign up so I can start yelling. <laughs> uh, if you have more questions too, let me know that in the chat. Um, let me see here. I'm trying to see if I have any other questions coming in as far as the course. Um, let me know in the live chat too if you have questions. Um, and then I can answer those. Like Ray had a question. Do you have to have free LinkedIn? No. Um, and then where does it work? How does it work? The whole LinkedIn messaging magic, it's designed for one-on-one -on -one messages. And it's really about um, being able to get people through, you know, one-on-one -on -one messages to first degree connections. But also I'll show you like in LinkedIn groups, in mails, like there's all the ways. The beauty of LinkedIn is all your ideal prospects are on there, the B2B world. So you're able to find them. But the secret is, how do I engage them? How do I get them to talk to me? And if you use LinkedIn at all, you know, your own personal inbox is probably cluttered up. Like I talked about at the beginning today, it's just cluttered up with all the, you know, junk, right? And pitches and spam. And these are the messages that really cut through the noise and get people responding. And they're simple. They're conversational. They're idiot proof. Like fill in the blank. I can do it. Look at my hair. Oh, my hair's coming back down now. All right. So. All right. All right. So Jim has a question. Um, no, there's an option. There's an add on option. So if you sign up for messaging magic and I see some people signing up, which is awesome. So Jim has signed up. Dan has signed up. There's an upgrade option. So there's an upgrade option in there for more LinkedIn training. Jim, that's what that $400 is, right? So there's an upgrade. Like, of course, I'm going to have one-time offers and upsells. Like, this is me, right? So once you sign up for Messaging Magic for the 197, the next page will say, hey, do you want to add this and add this? And like, there's going to be upgrades, little secret bonuses, right? So um, again, it's I'm trying to make this, uh, you know, available for everybody. And, you know, this is a great way, if you haven't been active on LinkedIn yet, and you want to get some kind of quick win, proof of concept, testing out ideas, then this is the perfect start, right? For 197, you can get in, you can get these kind of proven templates and scripts and just use them in your inbox with people you want to get talking to you. And it works. Now, Lori had a question. What if you don't have an email list yet? Could you still make it work? Absolutely. Yes, absolutely, Lori. Yeah, that's not at all. In fact, I have a good example of that. Um. Yeah, 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 let me show you this. Okay, so actually, I don't know if Ken is still on. I'm going to share a script I wrote for Ken. <laughs> All right, so Lori, uh, watch this. Ken, if you're on, you're going to recognize this message. So to your point, Lori, what the question is, what if you don't have an email list? Can this still work? Yes, absolutely. So I'm going to show you an example using that poke the bear script of how you can do it without an email list, Lori. So basically, you can come in, and this is one I wrote actually for Ken and his partner, Chris, where... Hey, first name, bit of an unusual question. We're seeing lots of IT and, you know, software as a service companies crashing into cash flow issues that cripple profit, right? That's pain, pain, pain. Was wondering what you're doing to tackle that. Happy to share what we found is working. 
just reply yes, right? Or if you're all set, not should no worries. And then Chris is from Philadelphia, so we put in a little of his personality. I'm from Philly, so I, you know, I'm not going to take it personally if you tell me to buzz off because everyone knows Philly. Everyone's blunt, right? Don't talk bad about my Eagles. And so the whole idea is if they say yes, Lori, um, what we're going to do is have um, Chris and Ken just send the tips back via LinkedIn message with a hook in there of, hey, here are some of the tips I'm talking about. If you want to expand on that, um, we can set up a call. So actually, let me show you more of what I'm talking about with that. Um, and I want to make sure, okay, more people are getting in. Sweet, sweet. Okay. So let me know if you're signing up in the chat, we're going to get you some bonus scripts. Um, make sure I'll put it back in. I want to show one other thing. Get the special. Okay. So for those of you uh, that haven't signed up yet, I want to make sure you get the link. Let me put it in here and pop it open for everybody. Cause I see tons of people are still on. Um, one thing too, like, yeah, you don't have to have an email list as long as you have something of value that you can share. So let me show you kind of a little bit of a deeper dive. Find Okay. So I'm going to show you an example of the poke the bear where you don't have an email list to send them to. Right. Okay. Well, I won't share it all because these guys are done for you. And I personally wrote it. But the idea is the strategy behind it is very simple in that um, what I do is if you don't have an email list or content to send them to, when they say yes, you send back a LinkedIn message with a couple of tips, a couple of quick wins. Hey, you know, what I found is working really well for people to solve this pain point is, you know, one or two sentences. And then you say, if you'd like, I'm happy to hop on a call to expand on that rather than writing back a LinkedIn message, you know, the length of a Stephen King novel, happy to hop on a quick call and show you more about how to solve this problem. No hard sales pitch intended, not here to try to do anything, just want to bring value, right? So for you, Lori, even if you don't have um, the, you know, email list and funnel set up, you can still use this to book calls. Like, so I should say that very clearly and loudly for everyone listening is like, this, this approach, this program helps you book calls. If you're a coach, consultant, small business owner, it, whatever it is, like, yes, this there's techniques and scripts in here just to book them straight to a call, right? Um, yeah, okay, somebody wants to talk to me for sure. Uh, somebody wants to talk about the done for you, okay? <laughs> I'm not gonna twist my arm. If you, want, if you want help with done for you, and I'm gonna respond to that person in the live chat, um, I will tell you this, okay. So I'm just gonna respond to the person in the live chat. Where did that go? Um, just fill out this type form. Okay, so the person in the live chat that said, I'm interested in learning about your done for you programs, click the link in the live chat. And then we also have, we'll just do it all for you. We'll write the messages, we'll write the scripts, all that stuff. So uh, if there's anybody else that wants to know about the done for you, done for you help, I'm going to put that in the webinar chat right now. So there's a link in the webinar chat that says done for you help at the top. Yeah. And Bruce says, yeah, messaging magics within LinkedIn riches. If you're like, Hey, you're the expert. I just want you to do it for me. You write all the scripts, you write all the messages. We can do that. I have a full service done for you. LinkedIn lead gen agency. I write scripts, obviously. <laughs> so that's where these came from. So if that's of interest, click the link in the webinar chat. Um, and basically what that does is that moves us um, that it's, it's funny. Cause it's, you'll see behind the scenes, like how you can do the same thing. Like it'll lead to a type form where you can kind of qualify people and warm them up more and get to know more prior to talking to them. But for anyone that's interested, that's the next step is you fill out a quick type form. And honestly, like I have to know, like, can we help you right? Based on your situation, your target audience, what you're trying to do, what your goals are, what you're selling, what the price points of what you're selling are like, yeah, would done for you make sense or not, right? So either way, like, and I was talking to somebody out in Boston, not Jill, but somebody else uh, this morning who's like, yeah, I just want to kind of get, you know, I've just had so many people promise, promise, promise stuff. Like, I want to see, you know, will it work proof of concept? So like, this is the perfect course to do that because you get a risk-free 30-day money-back guarantee period. It's going to take you like two minutes to go through the course. Like, it's just templates, a training videos, copy, paste, fill in. 
And then that way you can test the proof of concept for yourself and be like, wow, yeah, I use this thing. And oh, good. Lori is signing up. Lori, Lori, Lori. Let's go. Woo! Good job, Lori. You won't regret it. I swear. <laughs> and once you're learning Lori, Dan, uh, Jim, everybody else that's signing up, you'll see on the second page after you sign up for Messaging Magic, there's a, an upgrade option. There's an upgrade option to get more of the, some full LinkedIn trainings. Um, so that I won't surprise the secret, but sign up because again, this isn't normally available. Like I said earlier, I think I was telling it to Tim. Uh, I carved it out or it was Scott. Yeah, I carved it out of the done for you agency and I carved it out of the full LinkedIn riches course. And this is honestly, I was talking to my team about this at the agency yesterday at our LinkedIn lead generation agency. I'm like the single most important thing to generate leads on LinkedIn, to win new business for us, for our clients, for anyone is the messages. Like, because all the funnels behind it, all the content and opt-ins and this and that, like all of that's dead in the water. If your messages stink, <laughs> like if, if no one replies to your messages, if it's crickets, if it's ghost town, uh, then none of the other work matters, right? Because you won't get any calls booked. You won't get anyone wanting to engage. You won't get anyone opting in. So it's like this in in reality, this is probably the most valuable thing I can offer, right? And I'm offering it for like a special little carved out option, 197. So like that's, yeah, I mean, obviously if you want leads on LinkedIn and you want it fast, like this is the shortcut. Just take these messages, fill in the blanks, watch what happens. Like that's the single best thing I can say is watch the proof of concept um, it happen, right? I mean, it's it's amazing how fast you'll know, right? And then there's all the other ways to scale it up. So with all that said, um, I wanna make sure people have time. I know we're hitting the top of the hour. Uh, we still have a lot of people on. So Mary, David, Scott, Dan, Lori, and then some of you have already signed up, Dan, Lori, uh, Laura, Russell, uh, Dulce, Steve, Chris, Nicholas, Lay, Mary, Edith. Wow, there's a lot. I can't even, I can't get to the next page. Okay, well, there's multiple pages if you left. It used to give me pages so I could do it. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I wanna make sure that we have time. So I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna pop open the link one more time. Um, or actually, I'll just put it in the chat. It should have already been popped open. Go here if you have more questions. All right, I'm gonna put a link in to the messaging magic program page. And then I'll show you one thing before we finish up here. Um, go to that page and then you'll see the messaging magic, everything you discover, PayPal or credit, you know, credit card or PayPal at the bottom, blah, blah, blah. But then here, when you click chat with John Nemo at the bottom, that's how you can talk to me one-on-one. -on -one. Like it's really me, right? It's really me here with my hair sticking up. So if, if you have more questions and you wanna talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, or if you're like, hey, I'm interested in the done for you, right? I can send you the link here so that we can talk about the done for you. And then you just fill out this quick type form. Um, that is also available. So I'll put that in the chat for you as well. Um, done for you. Here is that info. So do one of those two things. Either sign up for Messaging Magic or live chat me. Just click on these links in the chat. Like this one is the Messaging Magic. This one is the done for you. Sign up for the messaging magic. And then if you decide to like, oh, I want to graduate in the done for you, I'll credit you back the messaging magic. Like we're not going to, you know, it's not going to be a big deal. Like there's obviously quite a difference too. And, you know, to having us do it all for you versus doing it yourself. But I am so excited because of all the different trainings, I have like 14 different online courses of all of them. I feel like this one probably will not probably it does. It gets people the quickest wins the instant gratification, the instant ROI, because you know, and I know once you get someone talking to you, your ideal prospect and how you can scale it and engage it and personalize it, like that's where the money is, right? You got to talk to people. You got to get people talking to you one-on-one. -on -one, and how do you do that online with perfect strangers through their LinkedIn inbox when everyone and their grandmother is just hammering them, right? So, um, oh yeah. Okay. So somebody, um, Uh, oh, you, oh, that's nice. I'm getting nice compliments in the live chat.
Yeah, that's awesome. Somebody said, I really appreciate authenticity. feel like I know you. Okay. Yep. All right. So, yeah. Okay. So, um, here's what I want to do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mary says, oh, you want to sign up directly to talk with me. Okay. So, go to this link and fill out the type form. So I'm just going to send that to Mary. Okay. So I just put a link in the chat for you, Mary. And, and let me explain that um, right here. Boom. Okay. So I'm just giving that to somebody um, because I want to make sure before we talk live, and I'm happy to talk live, um, I want to make sure, let me just share what I'm talking about. So I've been giving people a link to the type form. This is what it looks like, right? So it's just on Nemo Media Group, done for you, LinkedIn. And basically the idea is you just click the blue start button, see the blue start button. And then that will walk you through some quick questions, like what type of work do you do? Who's the target audience? Is this your full-time business? You know, tell me, like, let me see your LinkedIn profile. How do you currently get leads, right? How long you been in business? Like, these are just some kind of basics that I need to make sure that when I talk to you live, I've got the lay of the land. Um, I know what you're trying to do, who you're trying to reach. So that way I can kind of give you a more personalized engagement. You know what I'm saying? Like I can say to you, okay, based on what you're telling me, you sell, you know, X, Y, Z to this type of audience and your pricing range is this and this. Okay. Here's my best advice. You know, do this, do this, do this, as opposed to us just getting together cold. And I'm just going to ask you all that anyway. <laughs> And then I'm going to have to take all the notes down. It's just faster, right? It's the reporter in me. Um, so again, just go through that. And it's really fast. It's easy. And then that way I can follow up with you live and get good, you know, personalized feedback for you. So super excited um, for Mary, everybody else that's filling that out. Again, every, anyone else, um, sign up for uh, the messaging magic here. Again, uh, it's, you know, it's not something you can normally get outside of being a done for you client. So I want to make sure. People have access to that. Okay, people are signing up. Sweet. Okay. Oh, wow, I got another one. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. So again, let me know if you have any additional questions. I will pop open a couple more links. So here goes the done for you link. And then I will also put in the messaging magic link as a new tab. One of the things I like about Webinar Jam is it will actually pop open new tabs for you on your browsers. So hopefully you don't have like 600 browsers. <laughs> if you have questions, there's a live chat. There's live chat on almost all those pages. Just click the live chat button and I can talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. So with all that said, oh my gosh, what a great session today. Amazing, amazing. Um, I'm trying to think if there's other questions. I will be hanging out in the live chat on the different pages. So either the message you magic page or on the type form page, if you get stuck, there's a live chat on there too, I believe. So let me just make sure. Yeah, there should be, oh, there's not on that one. So um, I'll also put my email in just in case you get totally stuck. Um, more questions, email me. It's john at nemomediagroup.com. All right, so either way, you can sign up for Messaging Magic. There's a live chat there. I linked to the type form for the done for you. If you want to explore that with me, just fill that out first and then I'll get back with you live. Uh, and then finally, if you just want to email me, John, J-O-H-N at nemomediagroup.com. Uh, woo! Wow, what a session. This was so much fun. I really appreciate each and every one of you for coming. It was so awesome. Um, I will be hanging out doing the live chat um, with those of you that have questions. So meet me over on the messaging magic page. I know I've got some chats going. Um, everybody else, thank you, thank you, thank you for being on. Fill out the forms, email me, all that good stuff. We'll talk more. Cannot wait for you to get in and utilize um, these messages. I know what a difference it's going to make. So thanks, everybody, for being on. I'll be back next Friday with another session. What's it going to be on is the question. Hold on. I can't leave you in suspense here. Next week, let me go look at my little Noon with Nemo schedule, <laughs> um, and then I'll tell you. Next week, we are going to cover here live again, Oh, my favorite, how to make sales while walking your dog, how to make sales while walking your dog, how I make sales while I walk Rosie the dog. All right. True story videos.
dog photos. It's all going to be there next week. So you got to make sure you come back. Russell Pearson, you're welcome. Thank you. Um, let me know, Russell, if you have questions, get over to the magic page, live chat. Happy to help you learn more about what you got going on. Thanks everybody. So appreciate you. You're the best. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. See you in the live chat, see you in the programs, all that good stuff. And we'll, uh, have a great weekend.